You are listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. Studio MacGyver and you are listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. Welcome back guys to another week, another show. Uh, let's get into this shit, shall we? Um, what, what should I talk about today, man? What have I been doing? What has been going on in the past week uh, with your boy? And out there in those uh, anime streets or uh, those video game streets, um, I'm going to get into that right now, and I want to start off by talking about some uh, some stuff coming out in the month of June. And there's a lot to actually be talking about in the month of June. Um, yeah, there's a few games coming out, guys. Um, let's start with Vampire, which is uh, slated for the 5th of June. So basically tomorrow, I mean, Tuesday, uh, this is a game that, you know, is is really been interesting and it's not a triple A title, uh, but if you're into the vampire thing, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are, it's a semi open world game. And, you know, it looks like it's got some pretty unique mechanics. And, you know, I'm up in there about this one. It looks graphically, it's not the prettiest game. I mean, if you if I had to just, you know, say off bat looking at the uh, the videos and the, the walkthroughs or whatnot, um, But it's definitely worth, in my opinion, if you had to ask, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, By that, I mean renting, uh, maybe Gamefly, uh, Redbox. uh, Hopefully they have it. You know, definitely uh, give it give it a look. Um, There's a lot of shit coming out, guys, (laughs) on uh, on Tuesday. And this is just one of those games. Let's move on. We have a DLC. We have a Far Cry 5 DLC. Um, It is called Hours of Darkness, and it is also slated for June uh, 5th. So if you guys are into Far Cry, uh, if you loved Far Cry 5, which a lot of people have, I haven't played Far Cry 5. Man, there's so many games that I have yet to play um, that I want to eventually one day. And by the time I get to a lot of these titles, man, I guess it'll be a good thing. And I say that because by the time I do uh, get to these games, they'll be dirt cheap. You know what I mean? So with that being said, uh, you guys definitely need to check out the uh, Far Cry 5 DLC and it's, it will be available on Tuesday. So um, it's actually uh, not in the same context of the actual Far Cry 5 title. Did This one takes place like, uh, man, I think I remember them saying something like, early maybe around 19 between 1950 and 1960 or something like that i I, it's like supposed to be around you know a war or some sort i don't let me get to lying um i looked at it briefly but it's not uh it's a separate dlc it has nothing to do with the actual story of the original far cry 5 game so you know it might be worthy to check that out man i mean i don't know how big the the DLC is going to be or not, but I'm pretty sure it's it's a decent size. Um, and, you know, I guess we'll go from there. So if you guys didn't know, now you know, Far Cry 5 DLC, June 5th. And uh, yeah, man, check that out. Next, I want to bring up uh, another uh, game, which is uh, made by those guys, Arc System Works. If you don't know these guys, you should know them. They're synonymous for, of course, the hit Dragon Ball Fighter that is out right now, Dragon Ball Fighters, but they have a game, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. It's another Blaze Blue fighting game. Uh, incorporates characters from all the different franchises in Blaze Blue and uh, everything else. Arc Systems, I guess, had their hands in, um, and it's coming out June fifth as well. So if you guys are into that, check that out. I did hear that there are a lot of characters to be unlocked through a paywall, so be prepared for that. If you guys are looking forward to, you know, a robust uh, 
a robust roster. You know what I mean? So I don't know what their take is. I don't know how they do it um, over there on the on the Blaze Blue side. But, you know, of course, um, Drag My Fighters, they they do it where basically they charge five dollars per character. And, you know, so basically they leave it up to you and you get to pick and choose your characters like, you know, so if there's somebody you didn't like or somebody you think that you wouldn't play with necessarily, then, you know, hey, you don't have to pay for it and you don't have to have them on the roster. If you're a completionist and you want everybody just for the sake of having everybody, hey, you know, by all means do that as well. But, um, yeah, that game, Blaze Blue, um, Cross Tag Battle, it's also available June 5th. So if you guys want to check it out, it will be here on Tuesday. Uh, another game I want to talk about uh, is the Elder Scrolls series. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, they have a new DLC. And for those who love Elder Scrolls Online, I have a lot of friends who play that shit. And I personally don't because I just, to me, you know, it's 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 kind of a slightly watered down version of um, the actual first player, you know, experience, the open world experience, you know. Um, but there's a lot of people who love uh, who love this game. And, you know, in in the past, uh, when it first came out, I remember it, a lot of people shitting on it and talking about how, you know, there was a lot of bugs and a lot of things that need to be fixed. But they stuck with it. And over time, uh, they they made it really, really good. Uh, let my friends tell you, they will they will say that they uh, live and die by this game. Uh, but the DLC is something that a lot of players have been looking forward to. And the uh, DLC is called Elder Scrolls Online Somerset. So. Uh, that's also going to be available on the 5th of June. So you guys check that out as well. Um, like I said, man, it, it uh, June, early June, man, they're coming with some shit. They, they have, uh, they have a few things that are, are coming out, man. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about the PlayStation Network, uh, free game. There's a couple free games. One is a racer. Uh, <laughs> it's like an arcade racer type of game. Um, looks like a, a side scrolling type of thing not really into that one but the one i'm most excited about is another game that i have yet to play that i was gonna actually buy um and i was talking to one of my friends and he just every time i talk to him about this game he always says man you need to play this shit you need to play it and uh this game is xcom 2 so xcom 2 is going to be available for free if you are on the playstation network um i recommend you guys picking that up if you have not ever played it um and you know i'm gonna definitely download this so hey cool free i mean i don't have to pay shit for it if i did want to eventually get the dlc for it uh and check that out it depends on how this game makes me feel but i'm definitely going to give this game a try um it's one of those games that you definitely want to set some time aside and sink your teeth into and i get scared of those games a lot because um you know some of these games take your life over uh, you know, case in point, God of War did this. Um, and uh, who? what else did this shit to me, man? Um, the Witcher did this shit to me. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn did this shit to me. You know, some of these games are so good, it, it's scary. Um, because then you start getting complaints from your family members and loved ones. And what are you doing? All you can do is care about this game. And, you know, and it, you know, sometimes it does that, you know, or it's just like a good book or a good anime. You know, you jump into it. And you like you can't you can't stop watching it. I mean, Full Metal Alchemist did me like that. Naruto definitely, definitely did me like that. I mean, 720 episodes straight, uh, straight binge watching. I mean, for the but five and a half weeks. I mean, nothing else. If I wasn't sleeping, if I was not eating, guess what? I was watching Naruto and I was watching Naruto Shippuden. So. Yeah, man. I mean, some some things will do that to you, man. I mean, hey, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, you know, maybe not to necessarily to a lot of uh, people that, that, that you, you know, have in your life or whatever. But, you know, for you, for the person who's into it and interested in it, man, it's a breath of fresh air. And uh, yeah, man. So look, be looking out for that Elder Scrolls Online Somerset DLC. Um and look out for PlayStation Network, guys. XCOM 2. Definitely worth a check. I'm going to be doing it. So I'll leave that at that. Um, there's a, something else I wanted to talk about a little bit here. I wanted to kind of like, um, I guess, graze over real quick. I think we all know that the Dragon Ball Fighters DLC is out now. Uh, we have Vegito and 
we have Vegito and we have um Zamasu, I think. And those are two of the better characters, man, if you have to ask me. Um in in the in the game. I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. Um, like I said, man, time is of, of, of the essence. It's very limited for me on my side. And, you know, I've been making a few changes here and there. So hopefully um, I can get more time, um, especially on the later tail end of the weekend, to get into a lot of this other stuff that I've been trying to get into. And, you know, I can talk more about it or whatever. I'm trying to expand my mind in a lot of different <laughs> different aspects and on the anime side as well i'm trying to stay fresh with new anime and uh you know on a constant basis and i'll be getting to that in a, in, a, in two shakes of a lamb's tail but um trying to make the best of my time and hopefully now um i'll be able to do more of that so I, i've just been busy guys you know a lot of things that i do with my day consists of is um i've got the podcast of course i've got work of course and then i have uh this t-shirt thing that i'm trying to get into uh these designs and whatnot that i I told you guys about prior and you know i got a lot of stuff coming man in the work so please be looking out for that and that's why i've been so busy but i'm trying to fit all of that in uh the schedule and then on top of that you got all these games coming out and it's just a lot it's a lot to balance man i'm having fun though doing it i definitely am doing that and uh I look forward to giving you guys more insight on a lot of these things, but definitely look out for the T-shirts because, man, they are coming. Um, If you're an anime fan, definitely be looking out for some of these shirts. If you're a gamer, definitely be looking out for some of these shirts. It's coming. So, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much been me. I've been just busy as fuck and I just can't. uh, I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. And, you know, but I'm always here. Uh, Like I said, I always will be uh, available for the podcast and i'll be you know like i said putting in work every week for you guys to give you uh some kind of news to give you some kind of discussion about the world of anime or gaming or or both you know what i mean i love these anime streets i love these uh video game streets and that's why i live that's why you know that's why i take my pillow and blanket so that's why i'll be uh moving on let's uh get into a little bit of what I just finished up here, um, anime wise. But before I get to that real quick, I just want to, I just want to uh, say something about a game that I've, I've been interested in since like 2013, 2014 when they announced it. And I thought the game was dead. I thought it was going to be in the graveyard, um, along with a lot of these other games, man. And Capcom is, you know, Capcom is the publisher and you know it's a game it's basically like dark souls uh a dark souls dungeon crawler i mean that's the best way i can describe it it's a game called deep down um some of you guys may have heard of this game or maybe remember it but if you get a chance to if you guys are curious google google that game it's uh it's called deep down and it's by capcom and it's it, it looked it looked pretty fucking awesome man um it just looked like a a a a dark souls type of dungeon crawler and it looked pretty sick um i thought the game was dead i thought it was over with but apparently man capcom has uh reclaimed or renewed uh the trademark so it's back if anything i mean why would somebody uh renew the trademark if they didn't have plans on doing something with the game so it may be another two or three years before we see anything from Capcom about this game, but it's it's relaxing to know that this game isn't in the graveyard somewhere pushing up daisies. That we still have a chance to uh, get a chance to experience this game. I know I do. I'm very curious about this game and cannot wait. Hopefully, we might get some of the E3. Who knows? I mean, E3 is a mystery to us. You have all these videos out here in these video game streets talking about speculation um, and and pretty much 99.9. Um, of the shit out here on YouTube right now is just speculation. Um, a lot of these guys got the the lid on tight, and like I said, we will not know until E three is finally upon us. It's what to really actually look forward to going going forward in the future. I mean, of course, we know all the heavy hitters coming. We know about Spider Man. Okay, we know about Red Dead Redemption two. You know, games like this we know about, but there's some other ones, man. Trust me, that um, you know, 
I can't wait to discover because I'm sure there's some stuff that we don't know about. I'm almost positive. And um, that's what I'm waiting for. So E3, which is this month, which is going down this month. Cannot wait, guys. I hope you can either. So. All right. Now let's get back to uh, what I was going to talk about, which is the anime that your boy just finished up. Um, if you listened to me last week and a week prior, you know that I've been uh, I've been on a little anime tear and uh, I've been watching a lot of Sword Art Online, a.k.a. S.A.O. And, you know, I just wanted to talk about it real quick, tell you guys how I felt about it. Um, I just finished up season two and uh, both of these are available on Netflix. So if you guys are curious about it, you can definitely check it out on Netflix right now. Um, hopefully it'll be there for a while. We know sometimes Netflix likes to uh, take things off and put things back on at random with so much shit to watch on Netflix. Anyway, um, you know, you lose yourself in a lot of things. So your queue list, you know, you're going through and you're like, well, damn, you know, at least I easily got 200 items in my queue list. You know what I mean? Easily. So um, just check it out. Um, there is a lot of anime available on um, Netflix. So I've, I told myself, look, if I'm going to do some anime, I'm going to try to go through my feed on Netflix and try to knock out some stuff there. And then, you know, after I felt like I've ran out on Netflix, which would take a while, I might stray somewhere else. But I finished up Sword Art Online and uh, well, season two, I'm, I'm, there's a season. Apparently there's a season three out there and those anime streets. I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, not going to get to it right now. And the reason that is, is because, um, season two kind of disappointed me. Uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't the same as season one. Season one was, if you, if I had to say anything about season one, season one was excellent. I really liked season one a lot, man. Um, season two, just, it kind of fell short to me, in my opinion. Um, let me know how you guys feel. If you've seen, um, if you have at least seen, you know, two seasons of this this series, let me know how, if you agree with me, if you think I'm, you know, I'm wrong or, you know, if you have a different opinion about it, I'd like to hear it. You know, um, at Studio MacGyver on Twitter, at Studio MacGyver on Facebook. And you already know Instagram is at Studio MacGyver 79. So if you guys have anything to say or any, any concerns or whatnot, you can always hit me on those plateaus or those platforms on social media. And I'll be lo- I'll, I'll be happy to talk about anything anime anything gaming if you have any suggestions please holler at your boy as well i know there's a lot of dope anime out there i have yet to be seen um there's death note there is uh tokyo ghoul i haven't gotten to those yet there's bleach there, there there's a lot that i have to, <laughs> that i want to get to and i will eventually get to all of those um i'm just kind of going at my own speed here and and you know, whatever falls in my lap is what falls in my lap. I might even decide to say, oh, well, I'm going to watch this. Or, and, and then when that day comes, I end up watching something totally different. And it's happened to me before. And, you know, like I said, it's all anime. So, like I said, any anime is good anime in my book. Uh, but season two, I was definitely disappointed on a one to ten scale of uh, Sword Art Online season two. I would have to give it a seven. Um, even though I'd even say six point five. Yeah, I would say 6.5 on that. Now, season one was a season one for me was 8.5 straight up. It was it was it was really decent and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I don't know. I just everything about season one was just perfect to me almost. So uh, I'm moving on from Sword Art Online and I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb here and I say my next anime to watch is going to go with it, it, Claymore thinking about claymore um and the reason why i say that is because i was on my computer i was going through a lot of my stuff man and you know i got cowboy b but i got a lot of anime on my computer uh some of which i haven't even had a chance to see yet and claymore is one of those and i think i need to just go and knock claymore out you know what i mean i'm just gonna knock it out and it's just popped in my head now when i finished that i was thinking of fairy tales um i, I don't know the next one I, I really don't i'm looking uh but right now it's going to be Claymore. So I thought I'd lay that out there in these uh, anime streets for you and let you know what what's on my list, what what things uh, I plan on watching. So that's it. You guys should hear something from me um, by the next podcast on Claymore and how I feel about it or whatnot. Hopefully I'll have it done. I should have that series done and be, you know, moving on to the moving on to the next one. We'll see. Um, right now on my computer, I only have one season now. I need to find out more because depending on how season one goes, um, if there are more seasons of Claymore, which I couldn't tell you guys right this second, 
I'm pretty sure there is, um, then that will determine uh, what I do next. You know what I mean? If I knew, you know, Sword Art Online season two is going to be the way it was, I would have left it at season one because the way that they wrote season one was so good that they could have left it just like that and it would have just been perfect. Um, but they decided to extend it. And sometimes, as I'm finding out, it's not always necessarily a good idea to extend an anime or to extend a story um, just for money or whatever. Uh, I see why people would bite into season two because of season one, because season one was really good. And um, season two just didn't live up to the same, uh, same expectations, man, as, as one did. So that's just my opinion though. You guys might feel differently, but Hey, they're both on Netflix. Check them out, baby. And tell me how you feel. This podcast guys wasn't going to be very long. It's probably the shortest podcast I've done in, in quite some time. I don't remember uh, a podcast being this short. The last time I can remember that, I don't know. I want to say maybe 10 podcasts ago or something like that. But um, like I said, I've been very busy and trying to do a lot of different things. Got my hand in, you know, three to four different cookie jars, man. And trying to make sense of all the time and trying to make uh, use of what time I do have. So um, your boy is just doing doing things and be looking forward to Everything I talked about earlier, the T-shirts and all these other things, going to try to get back into the channel more so because right now my channel is just basically, you know, just these podcasts that, that are, I'm uploading once a week. And, you know, I used to have a little bit more time to where I could upload almost on a daily. I mean, I was on, I was uploading damn near, you know, like that. But I got to try to find a perfect balance with that and, you know, try to find some content to upload on, you know, besides the podcast and maybe two to three times a week that that's realistically uh something that i could commit to um but like i said i'm, I'm in i'm in the uh, limbo here when it comes to some of these projects that i'm coming to be working on so just bear with me guys and uh you know just keep showing your support and keep listening uh i appreciate you guys as always man um E3 is going to be a big month this month. So the, the, you know, the podcast be looking forward for the, it's going to be a big podcast after uh, E3 because E3 is actually going to be going on for some days. So, you know, yeah, it might even be a special, uh, a special uh, podcast in between there. So it might be like two podcasts in one week, depending on how, you know, this E3 thing goes, baby, because it's going to be a lot of shit to talk about, man. So we're going to definitely get into that. But, uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. And I'm going to get out. Um, with that being said, you have been listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. See you next time.